What's up dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to RuneScape, where today we're going to be doing another medium quest day, that is, another short and medium quest. The short quest today is pretty darn easy, it's going to be Sheep Herder by Counselor Halgrive? I think I'm pronouncing that right? How I, my instinct is to say Halgrieve, but I assume that's not correct because it's definitely not spelled like Grieve. Oh well, we'll talk to Counselor Halgrive here in just a brief moment. Uh, the second quest we're going to be doing today, the medium quest, is going to be... Oh, man, the Eyes of Gulfry. Sorry, for a minute there, I blinked out. Oh, uh, where is it? Here it is. The Eyes of Gulfry. It's relatively difficult. I mean, it is one of the higher level ones. We had to do the Grand Tree. We had to have 46 magic. The five constructions, pfft, that's nothing. But the 45 woodcutting would be a darn bitch if we didn't have, uh, you know, 68. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. The main reason, because it'll get us a ruin crafting level, and I'm pretty darn excited about that. We only have two levels until we can do nature ruins. Uh, right there, level 44, nature ruins. I'm really happy about that. Once we can start making our own nature ruins, we can start making a lot of money. At the end of this episode, I'll show you a, I guess, sneak peek of what we'll be working on here pretty soon. I need to get a lot of money built up, but we're going to be working on some stuff here pretty soon. Another time lapse for you guys. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it interactive. I'm, I'm not certain. We'll figure it out. I'll do a stream, maybe. Let's start this off before I ramble on for, you know, three and a half minutes. Hello, Counselor. How are you? I've been better. What's wrong? Yeah, <laughs> that's life for you. That would be a bitch to say. What's wrong? You are hanging out in a graveyard. You may or not, you may or may not be aware, but a plague is spread across Western Ordon. Yeah, it's not real, but yeah, I understand. Now, so far, our efforts to contain it have been largely successful, for the most part, because it's a fake plague. I I understand that. However, four sheep recently escaped from a farm near the city, where they. When they were found, we noticed that they were strangely discolored, so we asked the mourners to examine them. They found the sheep had become infected with the plague, or they're just dyed different colors. <laughs> As the council responsible for the public health safety here in East Ardong, I'm looking for someone to herd these sheep into a safe enclosure, kill them quickly, and clean them and dispose... Oh, cleanly dispose of the remains. Wow, so you want a sheep hitman. I can do that. How much are you going to pay me? Unfortunately, nobody wants to risk catching the plague. I'm gonna, I will do it. I have, Yeah, I can do that job. I have no problems doing that. How much are you going to pay me? Seriously. <laughs> You're talking about a hitman job. You need to pay me. You will? That's, a council, that's excellent news. Head to the enclosure and we will set up the farmer... Brumpties? Okay, we'll set up on Farmer Brumpties' land to the north of the city. The four infected sheep should still be somewhere in that vicinity. Before you'll be allowed to enter the enclosure, however, you must ensure that you have some kind of protective clothing to prevent against contagion. Okay. I don't want to be infected by some shit, so uh, where can I find this protective clothing? Dr. Oban, is it? Is that guy? No, that's a priest. Dr. Oban wears it when conducting mercy missions to the infected parts of the city. You should be able to find him in the chapel just north of here. I thought I had seen him recently. That's why I right-clicked on the priest. He was wandering around here. Uh, please t also take this poison sheep feed. We believe feeding the sheep with this will minimize the risk of airborne contamination. So I poison them. Okay, you are making this extremely easy. That's probably bringing down the price. <laughs> oh, well. Talk to Dr. Oban. You're right here, sir. It makes it very easy. Hello, doctor. I need to acquire some protective clothing so that I can dispose of some escaped sheep that have infected in the plague. Protective clothing? I'm afraid I have only one suit which I made myself to prevent infection from the contaminated patients I treat. I suppose I could sell you this one and make myself another, but it would cost you at least a hundred gold. A hun <sighs> So now I'm paying to go hit... Go kill sheep? I was about to say go have a hitman on sheep. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? It's only 100 gold. I have 33 grand. You give him 100 coins, and he hands over the protective suit. Thank you. They should protect you. Yeah, pff, I doubt it, considering it's completely false. So, and the music finally starts up. I was wondering about that. I was like, it's gotten really quiet. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, talk to the counselor again. Have you managed to find... Uh, no, I haven't, but... Thank you. You said they were north of the city, so I guess we'll go north. 
Now, there was a convenient map that was popped up on Rune HQ, but recently Rune HQ has been crashing due to all the ads that they're playing on their website. So, I don't have it popped up at this moment, but oh, look at this, sick looking sheep one. Can I prod you? I don't want to attack the sheep, I need to make it move. Oh, because I don't have the proper tools. Okay, so I think this is the farm that we have to put him in, is that right? Oh, pff, yeah, incinerator. I assume this is the sheep farm. Cool. Let's run on in here and talk. Wait, is this some farmer? Why are you outside your farm, dude? Hello there. Hello, adventurer. Be careful hurting those sheep. I don't think sheep. I don't think they've wandered far, but if you touch them, you get risk of being infected. Uh, yeah, I understand. I suggest you use a cattle prod from the barn over there to herd them. Oh, so you have a cattle prod. That's cool. That way you won't have to touch them directly, and you don't have any massive dialogue. Sweet. I'm trying not to skip any of the just ridiculous dialogue that they have. There it is. Take cattle prod. I thought it'd be on the wall. That's the nice di or design they have. Wield the cattle prod. Cool. Now let's hope this is going to be easy. So there are four different sheep. I know that it takes a while to prod them in here, so I don't know if I'll be doing this all in a live action sense. <laughs> I may do a small time lapse just for these sheep, but I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. Prod him back. Does he actually, like, try to... No, he doesn't try to go back to the house. Uh, they're not going anywhere. This is a bitch. Alright, do I actually have to go one and... No. Maybe? I think I do. I have to go... Yep. Oh, this is gonna suck. Alright, I understand the concept, but I mean, darn. Okay. After you get the hang of it, too, it's not too bad. You have to hit them once and they'll walk about three or four spaces. So, I mean, I get it. It's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, no, I can't get them up and through this, can I? Nope, because I can't get down on the shore. Well, this is going to be a pain. <laughs> All right. Well, give me a second as I figure out these sheep. Alright, so I think I got one. I assume they stay inside this pen. I'm not certain, but I, I remember reading on it that you had to kill them all at once. So I assume they stay in this pen. But on the way of getting this one up and around... Oh, I probably don't want to use my run. I noticed there are more six sheep right over here. So these are our next contenders. We'll see if I can somehow prod them to get over there. That was a pain in the butt, I have to admit. Like, that was really obnoxious to get them where I needed them to go. As you can tell, these sheep don't seem to want to go where I want them to either. <laughs> but I think that's also because I'm not starting them in the right area. Uh, can you, oh. oh my goodness, I need to click on the right areas, but they're not getting away from the fence. I could have stood where I was. <laughs> it's such an obnoxious quest. For being a short quest, hey, at least I got this one away from the pack. That's that's key. Oh, you're going back the up. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I should be able to get you. All right, because you're already heading in that direction. Nope, nope. I'm gonna stab you a thousand times with this goddamn cattle prod. You're gonna go in that direction. Eventually, I will get you there, my sheepy. <laughs> Alright, so let me see if I can get at least one down on camera, and then I'll skip for the rest, because as you can tell, they're a pain in the ass. I'm kind of being comical about it, but I mean, they're, they are legitimately difficult. It's, oh, I need to go on the other side, hit him once, hit him from this side, nope. Okay, cool. You're close to the fence, hit him one more time, and he's over. Ha ha! Huh. <laughs> Alright, so let me go find the next sheep, and I will try to do this quickly. I've almost got another one! Alright, so let me see if I can get this guy right- Uh-oh, I might have just trapped him. I put him right where I shouldn't have. Oh no! You are a bastard sheep! 
You went one space too far. I'm gonna have to wait for him to start running away. I'm so close yet so far on this sheep. Alright, there you go. Alright, no. Yeah! Alright, so that's number three. There's only one more, and I'd assume they're either to the far west or something. I'll find them. There's only one left. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah ha ha! And I'm on to the last sheep. We're almost there. This one was, like I suspected, really far west, but I've almost got him to the pen. Get in there, you bastard! <laughs> All four sheep are collected. Cool. So let's jump on in there and use the sheep feed on them. Uh, you feed some poison sheep to the feet. The sheep, he happily eats it. And you take the sheep bones. Oh, that's so sad. We have to kill all these healthy sheep that are just dyed different colors. Oh, oh well. I guess it's what happens when people are falsely accusing other people. All right. Let's get more sheep bones. Ta-da! Use the sheep feed on this guy, and I will, f after he keels over, I will drop the sheep feed and grab the last pair of bones. Oops. Drop the feed, please. Okay, cool. Now grab the bones. Run over here and use the incinerator. Use them on this. I'm glad I can't accidentally bury them. That would suck. <laughs> if you accidentally could bury these bones, and then you'd have to go all the way back and redo that, that would be terrible. Oh well, we're good. Grab all the items back on, put them back, and I believe we can go talk to the dude again. Let's... Uh, you know what? Just because I, it's not closer by any means, it's almost the exact same distance away we are now. But I wanted to use the teleport just to show you guys the powers of our cloak that we got. This is the cloak we got on the, um, uh, what's it called? The Achievement Diary. The one for our dong. This is a pretty damn cool cloak. I've used it quite a bit. It saves a lot of runes. Especially since the Ardong teleport is two law runes and two water runes. I don't usually carry the two water runes. Oh well, we made it here pretty quick. Counselor Halgrive, or whatever the hell your name is. Come here, dude, because I now have the solution to your sheep problem. I'd, I really hope that I eventually tell him that it's not true. Have you managed to find and dispose of the four plague-bearing sheep? Uh, I might have. Yes, I have. Excellent work, adventurer. Please let me reimburse you the hundred gold it costs you to purchase your protective clothing. Thank you. And in recognition of your service of public health of our dong, please accept this further 3,000 coins as reward. Hell yes, I knew there was a hitman payment. <laughs> the sheep hitman. Ta-da! And four quest points. Holy crap, that's cool. Nice! Four quest points for a relatively short quest. Hell yeah! Alright, so the next one is kind of far away, but I think I can get there. It's the Eyes of Golfrey. And this is... Oh, I actually don't remember the exact placement of where this guy is. I've, it's gonna bug the crap out of me now. I know he's in the Grand Tree area, so let's run off to the Grand Tree, and if I fumble around too much, it's whatever. Uh, does it actually say in the quest log where he's at? I'd always forget that this thing is in alphabetical order. Uh, the Eyes of Golfrey. Ta-da! I can start this quest by speaking to Brimsail in his cave at Gnome Stronghold. <laughs> That's very useful. At least I know he's in a cave, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's run off to him, and I guess I'll go to the Grand Tree, and then I guess we'll just jump cut until I find him, because who knows where the hell he's at. Be right back. Aha! Alright, so we found Brimsail. Uh, or Brimstale, whatever. Hello, man, how are you doing? Hello, adventurer, what can I do for you? What's, <laughs> what's the cute creature wandering around? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess that's the way we start the quest. What's that cre What's that cute little creature over there? That spider-like weird thing. <laughs> oh, Izzy? He's my pet. What kind of creature is Izzy? I'm not sure. He's very cute, though, don't you think? He's very restful having a pet, especially when you are stuck in a cave for as long as I am. That's cool, so he's your companion. Uh, so what do you do down here, anyways? Isn't that obvious? I investigate thaumaturgy. I'm the research in the arcane. I ex I attempt to explain the inexp the inexplicable. I was about to say inexplainable. 
The study of magic, then. What kind of magic? I do a bit of magic myself, you know. Are you a budding mage? I can tell you more about my research if you like. Uh, sure, it sounds interesting. Excellent. It's so rare to find someone to discuss my research. Uh, my researches. So, most gnomes seem to find it all very tedious. It don't trust me. It is. Uh, never. How could they think that? I thought I'd suppose gnomes. Ugh. Though I suppose aren't gnomes aren't known for their magic. Well, that's true. These days, apart from a few combat spells, most gnomes seem to be in, uh, suspicious of mages. That's weir really weird. I would expect gnomes in general to be mages. Or, like, of some form of magic. Huh. Oh, <laughs> I mean, stop getting distracted. Really? Why is that? Well, there is a bit of history here. Do you want me to tell you about it? Good lord, dude. You have so much... This is how I start to talk to you, right? Like, <laughs> this is the way I start the quest. There's a quest point, so... Uh... I'm really more interested in your researches. Gah, young mages these days. No patience, no pri... Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I'm just gonna skip through. I might have fucked up the quest, too. Oh, well. <laughs> Come on, please. Please. He's discussing so much history. Uh, of course, I would love to hear some more. Careful look ar around at everything in the next cave and come back and tell me what you find. Cool. Did that actually start the quest? It did! <laughs> Somehow I stumbled my way through that. Cool, that would have been a lot of reading. I had a feeling it was going to go on for a while. Alright, so what is next? What's on in here? Uh... Examine. What is this thing? I wonder what this does. I don't know. It'd be useful to... Wait, search the plant. Granda, granda. What? <laughs> okay. Ooh. This looks complicated. Alright. And I'm not using Rune HQ. <laughs> you look at the machine, it's an impressive piece of work, though it looks like it was made using a strange combination of materials. There seem to be two parts with apparently differ differing functions. It is made from maple and oak wood with a crystal ball stuck together with a strange glue. You have no idea how it works or what it does. <laughs> Very useful. Alright, then inspect the singing bowl. I really like singing bowls. Uh, can you look? This is a beautiful and elegant looking crystal bowl. It is clearly of elvish origin and reminds you of a large crystal drinking glass. Every now and again, you're sure you can hear the bowl resonate and sound echoing around the cave, giving off a keening noise that makes you look for a moment that it's make you think for a moment that it's calling home. Hmm, that's cool. Uh, what is this thing? In nothing, just some statue, a broken statue of Gulfrey the Untrusted. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. Cool, well, let's go talk to... What's his name? Oh, we examined it. Oh, wait. Wait, what was that? There's something behind this machine. Look at the machine panel. Oh, okay. We should have looked at that. Uh, I guess those... That looks almost like a multiplica multiplication table or a linear equation or something like that. The area be beneath a linear equation. <laughs> Who knows? We'll figure this out. Let's go talk to what's his name and figure this out. Brimsdale. <laughs> I keep wanting to say sale. Hello, adventure. What can I do for you? Uh, really? Okay. Uh, he is asking just for the rune essence. I was like, you're not going to go through that whole dialogue again, are you? Please, sir, no more. <laughs> I've had a look at this uh, in the other room now. So, what did you find? Uh, well, there was a pit with crystalline looking bowl in the center. Indeed, sadly, I know very little about that. It looks elven to me, though. There is also a large, strange-looking machine. That's right, it's built by Oknok. Wait, Oknok. What? How do you know that? The room used to be Oknot's work- Ugh, Oknot's workshop. Hello, good fellow. Yeah. <laughs> it's also recognized as style anywhere. What does it do? I have no idea, but I know someone who might. There is one gnome left in Oknok, and his- Ugh, so many weird names. There is one gnome left alive who knew Oaknock, and King Healthorg, and Gulfrey for that matter. Well, who is it? Have a guess. Uh, well, King Narno tells me you've already visited him. Uh, what? I don't. Oh, I know, you're talking about Hazel. Hazelmere, what? 
Wasn't that the guy who's like really far away from this place? Very good, young. Oh, really? Didn't he help create the Grand Tree? That's right. He was a third advisor to the King Health Org. He found it. Okay. I guess I'll go talk to him. Uh, actually, I'm a bit busy right now. Fine. Wander blindly about. Yeah, it's. You're not gonna exactly help me. Uh, the number of boxes in column goes up per. Oh, maybe it's a clue. <laughs> no crap. I have a feeling that is definitely a clue. Okay, so from here, I guess the fastest way we could get to Hazelmere would be the teleport, because he's really far south from here specifically. So let's go check that out. Give me a brief moment. He should... I don't know if I should do this all in live commentary and run there, or if I should walk there and do this later. Who knows, I think we're getting damn close. I think he's almost here, so... We're, his little tower or whatever is on this peninsula out near the water, right? Or am I mistaken? I could have sworn he was right over here. Oh, I see land. I bet you anything that's where he's at. Yup. Oh, but we just ran out of run. <laughs> damn. So close, yet so far. It's probably gonna take us another minute just to get to his house. Alright, but it's that's cool. No big deal. We got pretty darn far through this so far. We've already got the clues. I think there's something to do with, like, the numbers, like, there's numbers with the gems that we have to get later on this quest or something. I've... Who knows? I read through this quest when I looked it up on Rune HQ, but I can't have it popped up because it keeps crashing or running advertisements or something else. So I'm pretty sure that clue is like, the numbers is times whatever number was on that chart we were looking at. I'm not certain, we'll be able to fiddle around with it for a little bit. Ha ha, I have some run to get away from you, spider! Ta-da! And we made it to his house. Alright, open the door and climb up the ladder before the spider poisons me. Ha! Ah, Hazelmere, I am so glad this is actually your house and I'm not retarded. <laughs> the mage starts to speak, but all you hear is blah, blah Oh, no! No! I need the freaking book of translation! God darn it. <laughs> Give me just a brief moment. And we're once again back to Brimstale. Alright, dude, so do you have a book or something for me, please? Hello, adventure, what can I do for you? Uh, I've had- oh, man, you- I have to start this whole dialogue over again. I guess I do have to talk to you about the ruin essence at the end. Oh, well, that was my bad. <laughs> uh, let's- we're almost there, we're almost back to where I just was, ta-ta-ta, almost there? Of course, I'd love to, because you just can't stop talking. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I going to have to translate everything he says using that dictionary again? Ha! He's an old-fashioned kind of gnome and doesn't like visitors much, but I'm sure he'll want to talk about the old days. But he only speaks ancient gnomish. That may be true, but he may be just faking it to deter visitors. Either way, he is a wise old gnome. If you really want to talk to you, I'm sure he'll find a way. Well, alright, if you say so, what do you want me to ask him? Well, ask him if he knows anything about Oak Knox Machine, and anything you can anything you can find about Gulfrey would be very interesting, wouldn't you agree? Sure would, I guess. Right then, I better be on my way. I'll be back soon. Aw, oh, so now I have to go to it? <laughs> That's so obnoxious. Alright. Well, this time I'm not going to be walking all the way there with you guys in tow, so give me just a brief moment and we will be back at Hazelmere. <laughs> Ha ha! And just like magic, and definitely not ten minutes of walking later, we're there! Hello, Hazelmere! The mage starts to speak, but all you hear is blah 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 blah. Okay, please tell me you're gonna do something else after I click next. Cross my fingers! Cross my fingers! Mm, hello, Hazelmere! Oh, we're doing something different! Hell yeah! Blah 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 blah, human sarco! Uh, Brimsale sent me to ask you some questions. Ha! Arcus, what? Blah blah blah, me say blah blah... <laughs> what? I have some questions about the old days. Brimsail has been filling me in about gnomish history. Blah, Brimsail, blah blah, human blah, minute har... What? <laughs> 
It sounds like a fascinating time. It sounds like we had some important things happen then. Events that we shouldn't forget. Hmm. Linkui, blah, human, blah, blah, blah. He also found a... Well, at least he seems to be softening up. <laughs> he is speaking some English. He has found a machine. He says it was built by Oaknock. Oaknock, ha, blah, blah, Minipar, blah, blah, <laughs> what? <laughs> blah, 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 Oaknock, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is such just tantalizing, on-the-edge dialogue here. Earth, Org, Chinko, mm, sorry, I don't understand a word you're saying. Sigh, Impressy human. You feel very strange, as if Hazelmere is starting to poke around inside your head. Zap! <laughs> awesome. Can I speak him now? Speak with him? Hmm, not bad for a human. You can hear Hazelmere's voice in your head, but he's not moving his lips. Very strange. You understand what he's saying, though, which is a bonus. Weird. How are you doing this, Hazelmere? Old magic's behind, beyond your skill, human. You can stop flapping your big human lips as well. Just think... So how do I do this? Wow, very impressive. Brimsail was telling you that gnomes didn't trust mages these days. How can you hear me? Gulfrey wasn't it. He did something bad and got exiled. Ooh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Did you know him, did you? <laughs> what can you tell me about him? What's this machine about Oaknock built? Isn't this magical as well? Did you know what it does? Stop wittering on the iron chuck. You're giving me a headache. This mind speech is hard enough without having to listen to your incoherent babbling. That's exactly what I was thinking. That was hard to read. He was thinking so quick. Think about nothing. Clear your head. Clear my mind. How? Wait. How do you know my name? You. <laughs> I'm reading your mind, foolish human. How do you think? Now clear your mind. How do I think of nothing? I'll give it a go. Well, think of space. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Hmm, tasty lobster. God, I'm thinking about something. Stop thinking about lobsters. Pink lobsters. Big lobsters. Lobsters with wings. Wings lobsters? No, not. Wah! I can't do this. <laughs> Just shut up and listen. I have a story to tell you that will answer most of your questions. Good, you're going to keep my mind off of it. Let us travel back in time to the time you humans called the Fourth Age. King Helthorg had become king, the elves mysteriously decided to travel west, leaving most of Kandaren open for conquest. The humans weren't there yet. Only King Helthorg and the gnomes to the north, and the collection of goblin tribes to the south. Ooh, cool animation, bro. <laughs> Both armies moved to claim the lands and were course destined to meet in battle. Alright. Oh, there's actually an animation. Animation. Dum, da dum, da dum, 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 dum. Cool. And so it came to the pass goblin and gnome armies met in the battle of whatever the hell that name was. We'll say Arcee, just for a short. <laughs> the battle of Arcee. You guys seem to be attacking a fence. You guys seem to be attacking a fence. <laughs> Both sides faced each other on the battlefield of bloody battle with no prospect. The gnomes are brave, but they were no match for the massive brute goblin stupidity. Well, that makes sense. Hate to be, you know, an asshole against goblins, but they don't seem too smart. He's riding a freaking turtle. I, pff, by far, gnomes are the coolest right now. <laughs> but Golfrey and his King Health Organ devised a plan. If you don't lead an invincible army, pretend you do. Ta da! Oh, so he's gonna bluff. Oh, that's cool. They win with invisible giant turtles. <laughs> and so Gulfrey created an army of illusionary giant tortoises, knowing only that goblins would be scared of anything bigger than they were. Big Boss didn't say nothing about them numsies having monster tortoises. Hey, you hugies, tortoises too scary and pointy. We runs away. Well, go for it. Run away! <laughs> go! And they're off. Oh, they're all gonna run away? This isn't gonna be like a 10 minute. <laughs> it might be. Of them all running away. They do have music. <laughs> At least they'll give them that. Ta da! Hey, was that next to you? Was that you next to the tortoise? You look so handsome. Hmm. Handsome, hmm. That was such a long time ago. Anywhere, where was I? Oh, yes. Sadly, the golden dimes are not destined to last for too long. There were once a very special spirit tree in the stronghold. Silver as a birch, old and wise. I almost read that bitch. 
I considered him a friend. I called him Argentino. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Argento, not Argentino. That'd be pretty funny. His true name was unpronounceable. Uh, he was first the first spirit tree I'd befriended and the one I knew the best. I would sometimes travel, visiting, and finding... These guys hawk for so long. I felt a shadow pass over me and a tingling in the air even though the weather was fine and dry. Then I felt a sudden, a sudden pain as the Anima Mundi was crying out the loss of the favored child. Oh shit. Thor does not like you. <laughs> and I knew that one of the old ones had died. I had lost a friend. That sucks. But I mean, I give you props for outliving a tree, man. I rushed straight back to the Grand Tree, only to find that no one had noticed anything, and the Argento was still standing that seemed alive, but I knew something was wrong. He refused to talk to me, and his aura was no longer present. Someone had hidden his death. I talked to Oaknock, and he was licensed. He immediately blamed Gulfrey, and although Oaknock could rather... Ugh. Oaknock could be rather irrational when it came to Gulfrey, they never saw eye to eye. I knew he was right this time. Gulfrey had used his magics to hide the truth from us all. Oaknock had made a machine, an anti-illusion machine. And with some help from the elves, he prepared it and summoned the Argento. So it's an anti-illusion machine. Cool, so after like 10 minutes of dialogue, you tell me something of use. <laughs> Why have you summoned us here? You'll see, sire. Switch the machine on. Oh no. What is the meaning of this? This silver spirit tree is dead. Gulfrey has been using his foul arts to make the- or mask the truth. What other secrets has he been keeping? Explain yourself. I live to serve you, sire. I work for the good of us all. How can lying to your fellow gnomes be good? Some things are best kept secret, even from your king? Occasionally. Wow. Kill him! Slice off his head! <laughs> Enough! I can. How can I trust a gnome who hides things from me? No gnomes can blame you for what you do not know. Next. That is not how I rule. Golfer, you are no longer my advisor. Leave this place. Cool. He is being fired. Only the naive believe that they can rule without someone like me. But you talk about being naive. You're in, or arrogant at the very least. Your empire will crack, and the gnomes will become nothing but a joke. Sarko. So, and so Gulfrey left and traveled with some companions to a place they called Arsponda. Uh, okay, we have heard nothing but rumors but then from then since. Cool. We're learning a lot about gnome history. I'm not going to remember half of this because I'm reading it so fast, but still, we're learning a lot. So where is this Ar Arasponda place? Nobody knows for certain. Somewhere rocky, I suppose. The rumor is that after finding their new home, Gulfer used his magics to shroud the city in mist. It may not exist at all. However, I suspect that Gulfer is still around, one way or another. Why do you think that? Just call it no mission to intuition. <laughs> so the machine that Brimsale or Brimstale is found in one of the Oaknock has built. Oh, the one he has found that Oaknock built to stop Gulfer's illusion. Do you know how it worked? I never study it, but I believe that elven magic, so it must have used crystals of some sort. Yes, it does. Crystal discs. Yes, that sounds familiar. Actually, some think of it. I think I may have some lying around. Here, take this, and maybe it'll help you. Hey, cool, a violent pentagon. Well, thank you, Hazelmere. You've told me a lot of things I need to ponder for a while. Very well. Oh, and when you see that lazy toad Brimstale, tell me that next time he needs information to come himself. I'll do that. Farewell. Cool. That was a lot of dialogue. Can I actually teleport out of there now? I can. It took me almost 19 minutes to get back to the Grand Tree, come back here, and talk to him. <laughs> Alright, so let's use this to go and use the glider to go back to the Grand Tree. And I will cut so that you guys see when I go talk to Brimstale. Be right back. Ta-da! And we're already back. Alright, talk to Brimstale. Hello! I visited Hazelmere. He told me all sorts of interesting things. Ah, thank you, my young apprentice. What did he tell you? What? I'm not your apprentice. He told me quite a story. You, you may want to take notes. Excellent. I like a good story. Right, well, it starts during the great my- Oh, please don't tell me. Brimstale takes notes. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Is it just gonna skip through it? So the machine emits an anti-illusion glamour. Yes. That's exactly what it does. 
Why is there somebody sneaking around? Glamour? What's that? Don't you know anything? Sigh. A glamour is a type of enchantment or magical effect. Oh yes, it does have a, such a glamour. It seems to be used... It seems to use crystal disc to make it work in some way. You show Brimstale the disc, you know there's somebody sneaking around behind, like, he's right here. Like, okay. Oh, crystal discs, I have a few of those in the drawer somewhere. Not anymore, because that guy probably just stole them all. What's that? Someone just moved behind your... Hey, cool. Alright, can you go kill him then? Oh, damn it. What's that banging noise? Shit. So he's gonna break it. <laughs> As I slowly meander my way over there. What's happened to the machine? It's broken. Hmm, something's afoot. I sense sabotage. There's definitely sabotage happening. So that's gonna be my quest, is to repair this machine that no one understands how it works. Alright, well let's search the drawers. I assume it has something to do with these crystals, right? They're full of junk. They're full of junk. Oh, well, isn't that useful? Uh, can I just talk to you about something then? I suspect sabotage. This is intolerable, I'm confused. Uh, wait a minute, how did you know that saboteur know about the machine? Hmm, you're the only person I've told about the machine. Hey, don't look at me, the only person I've talked about is Hazelmere. Surely this couldn't be the work of Hazelmere. Maybe, considering he was working with that, uh... What was that guy? I can't remember his name at all. The racist gnome that wanted to kill all humans. <laughs> wait, wait, none of this makes any sense. There must be another explanation. Alright, someone snuck in here without us noticing. How? The intruder must be invisible. Right, and how does one make oneself invisible, my boy? Illusion magic? Invisibility is a form of illusion magic, so that makes sense. It was done by Golfrey. Is he still alive? Who knows, but... <laughs> so Golfrey might be doing this. Who knows, but he may well have taught the skills to the gnomes. What do you mean, gnomes that went with Golfrey to Erisponda or whatever that is? Right, well, they may have sabotaged an anti-illusion device, because there's an illusion they want to remain hidden. Well, that would suck. Does it happen to do something with the cute creatures? <laughs> of course, which makes it imperative that we fix this machine and find out what's next. Have a look at the machine and assess the damage, and I'll hunt around my boxes to see if I can find anything that might help. Okay, cool. So you've actually given me an objective this time. Let's run back to the machine and see what we have to do. Now, is this going to be relatively simple or is this going to be difficult? Let me look at the chart again first. Alright, so here's my thought. I'm thinking that the number from left to right is the numerical number of the color and the multiplier is how many tall it is. That's what it would make sense to me. I was thinking about it, and that's really the only thing that makes sense. It's three, yeah, seven, and the max would be... Oh, that's a lot of math for a stoner to do, but we'll see if I'm right. Let's check this first. You look at the damage done. There are two main wooden parts that need to be repaired. It looks like you'll need two types of wood. Maple and oak. Ha ha, I tend to have both of those. Oh, go back in. Uh, it also looks like everything was stuck together by some sort of resin-based glue that smells of pine and contains flecks of gray powder with glint that sparkle in a magical way. I think that's ground mud ruins and bucket of sap. <laughs> yeah, I got all the items like I normally do before the quest, so thankfully I don't have to run around to grab all these and figure out what they are. You think you'll need some skill in construction, level 5, and the standard construction tools to repair the machine. Cool, I can do that. Uh, use the maple logs on the machine. Oh, we need something to stick it all together. So let's mix it together, and wow, that is magical glue. Easy enough. Use the maple logs on the machine. You start repairing the machine. Tink, tink, tink. Why are you hammering a plant? Shit. <laughs> Ta-da! And unlock it. Wow, okay, it seems to be working now, though it does appear to be locked. I guess let's go talk to him before I start trying to figure out what the hell that is. I don't want to put my one crystal in there, because I assume it's numbers, and I'm going to have to figure something out like a puzzle. So, let's talk to Brimstale. Hello, adventurer, what can I do for you? I fixed the machine! I'm a magician! Well done, you're almost as good at fixing things as a gnome. Who'd have thought? Though I don't seem... I don't think it's actually activated. There seems to be some sort of lock on the front. I think I know the, what the discs are for, though. 
There's a slot in the front that looks like it might fit a disc. And a number. So what do you think the number means? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I should put the disc into the slot and see what happens. That reminds me, I found some crystal discs like I mentioned before. Cool, he gave me more. That's what I was wondering. They're not quite the same as uh, one Hazelmere gave you, but they look similar in size and weight. But they also look as they might fit in the, the slots on both the machines, so yeah, cool. Maybe I should try it out. I'll do it. That's the spirit. Now, all for the training and go for it. Sweet. I will do that, Brimstale. Thank you for giving me the go-ahead on fucking with a machine that even you don't understand. Ta-da! Alright, so... Oh. I guess that's where we put the... the actual gyms in. We need eight. The numerical version of eight. Okay, so... What makes sense here? We have a yellow, that would be three, and we have one of them, so... I assume that would be just a... Th hmm. So that's... This would be... The red one would be considered a one. The yellow would be number three, and then a multiplier of three, so I assume it would be nine. And then orange would be two times two, so it'd be four. So none of those would make sense. I don't think I'm doing this right. Uh, yeah, well, let's just chunk one in and see what happens. I'll go for the red one, because it's the lowest denomination. So let's... Can I just... Uh, oh, the red one. Accept exchange. How do I do this? I am so confused. Uh, can I use this on anything? No, I can't. Can I wiggle them about? No, I can't. Uh, you'll need to insert some discs first. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I just don't understand how to insert them. I am so confused! Uh, da How do I do this? Maybe I have to insert them in this machine, or do I just use them on the machine, maybe? Is that how I insert them? Nope. Use the red square. This shouldn't be so- oh, okay. You have not unlocked the machine yet. Well, I put a red one in. What did that do? Didn't do anything as far as I'm aware. Uh... Can you change the discs out? Nope. Can't accept it. I I put a disc in there, so I mean, at least we're getting somewhere, right? Or, no I didn't. What? Now I'm even more confused. I thought I put a disc in there. <laughs> Give me a moment. Maybe I have to look this one up, because clearly I don't understand what the hell I'm doing. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to look it up. Just give me a moment anyways as I try to fumble through this and figure out what the hell is going on. Be right back. Oh, okay. So I think I'm starting to get this. Alright, so you'll notice that as I insert it, first off, the way you insert these is by clicking the little slot here. And I, for some reason, I didn't understand that at first, but now I've got it. On top of that, I think the number can is contributed to not only the sides of however much is on here, like a triangle has three sides, or three vertices, a pentagon has five vertices, and a square has four. So I assume that's what the number is actually based off of, that combined with the chart that's next to us. So I think that's it. On top of this, you'll notice there's a green arrow right next to this after we inserted the red uh, square. And if we insert the purple one, it says go down. And I believe the purple one is five times... What is the number over here? This is five... Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About five times seven is 35. So... No wonder it's not, or I guess this is violet, so that would be the one right next to it, which is 6. So that's still 30 points. That's why it's saying go down. There's a down arrow whenever this is inserted. Uh, the yellow one, whenever inserted, I believe yellow is 3. Uh, 
3 times 3 is 9, it's also telling you to go down. So I think I understand this, but we don't have the right numbers to get this in. So let's go talk to Brimstale or whatever and see what the hell we have to do. Talk to him again. Do you have any more of these things lying around? Uh, I actually understand exactly what to do, but it looks like I have to... Oh, cool, you gave me more discs. That was exactly why I was coming over here. I didn't want to go over there just to complain about how I couldn't do it. I kind of understand it. I think I'm getting there. Alright, so we're looking for eight, and that would mean... Uh, what is this? Blue is five times three. That's fifteen. Nope. Uh, four times five is twenty. That's not what we need. Five times three is fifteen. That's not what we need. Darn. We might need some more. All right. Well, do, what is the quest telling us to? I need to work out how to unlock it. Uh, I need to work out what the values of the coins are. Well, I understand the values of the coins. How do I? I guess I just keep putting them in the machine and the quest will slowly advance, right? Uh, let's put the blue one in. Into the machine. Go down. Yes, I had no doubt about that. The purple one's also going to tell me to go down, right? Yup. Uh, the yellow one is going to tell me to go down. The green one's going to tell me to go down. Ta-da! Alright, so I understand everything. As far as I'm aware, there's... You can't combo them in a subtraction manner. I, it would make sense if you could add them together, but I don't I don't think you can do that backwards. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Well, let's go find the freaking portal, because that was a complete accident. <laughs> I tried to click. You might have heard the mass clicking of me trying to prevent that from happening, but oh, well. Let's talk to Brimstale again. Hello. I really, I do understand, but I need more, I need more gems. You, you don't give me more gems. God damn it. Uh, they're full of junk. Is, still full of junk? Damn. Can I search the crates? No, I can't. What does he say, then? I guess I should actually read it. Uh, ta -da. But how do I work out the discs are worth the value? I'm not sure, but there's some logic somewhere. Maybe if you look around the workshop, you'll find some clues. Okay, so it's telling me to look around the workshop. I I understand it. I just uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna take his bowl. There's nothing else in here, so let's can I ground to ground? That still does nothing. Uh, can I do anything in here? I actually haven't messed with this machine. Maybe that's the key. Is this machine insert it? A yellow triangle. Uh, that would be nine, I believe. Let's do nine and let's add the red one. What does that do? Except... <coughs> oh, you can convert them. That's cool. Well, the circle has zero. I get... Oh, maybe it's by sides, not vertices. So a circle would have one. So a red circle would be exactly one. A red, a uh, yellow square would be 12, so that's not what we need. Let's, what's the next conversion? A uh, red triangle would be 3. Cool. I, I think I've got this. Uh, I need, I, what am I looking for? Uh, Let's see here. Let's actually go over and see what I'm looking at. Look at the machine panel. I'm looking for number eight. So maybe a green two-sided would be perfect, or a box that's orange. Either one. Okay, I, th I think I'm figuring it out. Let's go for the green first. Uh, go. Actually, you know what? Let's go for the f box that's orange. I assume you can make an orange box with a red square and a yellow. An orange square. Hell yeah, that was perfect. Uh, an orange... Yes, just like that. Oh, you get all three of them! That's awesome! Hell yeah, alright, so the orange square is what we need, right? Put that in, insert slot, okay. The front wheel... Ta-da, it's unlocked! 
Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's gonna get so much more difficult. All right, so what else? We need tin, which would be an orange pentagon, I think, because the orange is too. Yeah, so an orange pentagon. We'll go for that first. We'll make them one by one and figure out what this is. Okay, so let's go to this machine and get a orange pentagon. We'll put in a red and put in a yellow and see what we get. The a yellow pentagon. Nope. An orange pentagon right there. Thank you. That's what I need. Alright, so now we need a nine, which would be a yellow triangle or what else? We need nine. Wow. Uh, I guess a yellow triangle, or... That's about it. We'll go for the yellow triangle. <laughs> okay, so let's chunk that in. Go for it. And then chunk one of those in, because we have plenty of them. That should give me a yellow, right? It did, but it gave me an orange triangle. No, that's that'd be cool, but not exactly what I need. Red, keep going! Filter through! I guess I'll go for the orange triangle and then we can further work with it. Oh crap, I have to be careful and not mess with my orange pentagon because that's what I need. Uh, yeah, so let's put that in and then let's put the green bowl in, or the circle. I, it looks exactly like a bowl. Uh, nope, nope, next. An orange triangle, nope, I need a yellow triangle. There we go, yellow triangle and a red bowl. Ta-da! Alright, can I do these one at a time, or do I have to put one in there? Yeah! Okay, let's click OK on that. Machine is not yet full. Oh, damn. Oh, and it needs multiple... Oh, crap. Can I not... Oh, I can put one in each. Okay, I was about to say, there's going to be some issues here. Alright, well, what is... What is 20? 20 is a very large number. We haven't gone for 20 yet. Uh, one, there's seven there. So maybe a s blue square would work for 20? Alright, so let's get a blue square. I'm down for that. Let's toss that in, and then let's toss the green in. Oops, let's toss that in, and then let's toss that in. We should be getting a... Oh man, what was it? A blue square. Okay, I was about to say a purple square. All good? No? Getting closer. Come on. I know you want to give me a blue square. I know you want to give me a blue square. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a random quest now. It's actually fairly interesting. I mean, it's not too difficult to understand. It's just interesting. Like, I have no better word for it. Uh, I guess I'll go for the purple square. I'll go for purple and yellow. Uh, insert that and then throw one of the orange pentagons in. Oh, I didn't realize it was orange. Oops. Orange pentagon. Throw that in too. I still need a blue square. I need a blue square, guys. <laughs> it's gonna take me like five minutes to find a blue square. Uh, yep. All right. Well, give me just a brief moment. Alrighty, so I think I figured it out. I've got at least what I need in order to progress. <laughs> so the first one is gonna be tin, which is our orange pentagon. Let's put that in. Ta-da! Alright, the next one will be our yellow, and then we're good. Cool. And then I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm gonna use two gems instead of one. I was going for either a blue square, which is going to be 20, or a green pentagon, which would be 20, I believe. Either way, it was going to be a pain in the ass. Like, I I went through probably a hundred different combos, and I couldn't find it. So instead, we're going to go for two greens, a green circle and a green square. Ta-da! And we're on to the next. I assume there's going to be... It's not fully functional. Oh, no! I must have to line up all of those gyms and fill it. Alright, well that's fine. Give me just a brief moment and I will get the rest of those gems. Ha ha! Alright, so I finally got it. And we go on! Ta-da! The machine is now fully operational! Congratulations! That took a while. That was like 15 minutes of work to get that running. Huzzah! It's working! 
and I slowly walk off screen. That is really badly cropped. Like, that is a bad camera angle. Well done, the Iron Chuck. I knew you'd work it out. I'll make the mage for you. Wait, what is happening? Eek! The cute and curly creature is now turned into a really creepy creature. That is amazing camera work. <laughs> Izzy, no! There's something very wrong going on here. Let's kill this evil creature. Attack him. Please? Oh, wait, I must have to run back. Run back to the evil creature! He's not gonna die, is he? Like, that'd be pretty bad. Grimsdale. Nope, but there he is. Alright, let's attack the evil creature. <laughs> it's Squeal! Oh, he only has one damage, and he's... That's not bad. Dr. Brimsdale, you've killed one spying creature so far. Hello, adventurer, what can I do for you? Phew, I've got that machine working now. What do I need to do? Well, it seems that Izzy was not so cute after all. How awful! Or, mis or how mysterious! So this was an illusion of the... Arafos Sandrins. I, I'm terrible at saying that. And so much effort... Wait! Ugh! What did they go through for so much effort to conceal? A pet? That wasn't cute enough. Uh, where did you find this one? Izzy just wandered into my cave. He was cute and friendly, so I kept him. He seemed very curious and used to watch me do my researches. I like companionship. Research is only work. So he's been keeping an eye on you while you do important magical research. I suppose it has. I hadn't thought of it like that. I'm sure I've seen others in the, of this creature around here. Where? I think King Narnode has one. I think I saw one by the gates, and I'm sure I've seen a few more wandering around. In other words, all places to keep an eye on what's going on in the stronghold. Oh my goodness, I think you're beginning to understand where we're going with this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You have a full-blown invasion on your hands. Yes, they must be spies. They must be watching us with those creepy red eyes. And they must have told someone that we'd be working on the machine. So that horrible thing's been listening to us all along. You better tell the king what's going on. Absolutely. Alright, so let's rush off and go to the king. <laughs> I, I'm not exaggerating. That took freaking forever. This is like an hour and a half of recording for a, probably a 30 minute long episode that you guys are going to be watching. This is pretty damn funny how long this quest is taking. Definitely not medium by my standards, but you know, whatever. I go by what Rune HQ says. And we're almost there, King Narnode. We've killed one creature. I know there's plenty more around here. Uh, open the door. Oh, let's attack the creature. Before he gets to King Narnode. Ta-da! You've killed two spine creatures. Good day, sire. I take it you've noticed the cute creature you had here is looking rather different now. Why, yes, do you know what's going on? I think I do. It's a long story, but the short version is this. The Afro Sandrin gnomes have planted these creatures as spies to watch them what's going on in the stronghold. What? That's outrageous! Once I... I have once reactivated the machine that was built by Oaknock and the Dispels Illusions. And now these creatures are true... To, their true form is being revealed. Go free! We knew this would have been up to all these years. God, never trust a mage. <laughs> well, it wouldn't go as far as that. It is only though the brim sales and my researches that we establish what's going on. Huh, well, yeah, that's true. Mages are what's going to tell you how to fix this, so don't cast them all aside yet. Harumph! Well, it's all these creatures have been removed. We cannot allow the heir of Sandrins to spy on us anymore. How many of these things are there? I don't know, sire. We'll find them all and dispatch them. I'm right on it. Well, I know there was one upstairs, right? I don't know exactly how far upstairs, and I don't know, also know how many of these I'm going to have to kill, but ooh, there he is. Attack the evil creature. Let's also make it where I can left-click on him. Ta-da, he's dead. All right, so where to next? I don't actually know how many I'm going to have to kill. Three spying creatures so far, maybe there's more. I assume there are more. <laughs> so give me a second as I try to find some more. Haha, -ha, found another one. Kill him at all costs! <laughs> and we're off to another. Killed four. I found another one! And he's gonna be dead here shortly. This is actually really cool. I didn't know this place existed. These are battle tortoises. I really freaking want one. I wish there was a way to get one. Oh, wait. Trainer Nackleban, who are you then? Uh, tortoise trainer extraordinaire. Actually, you know what? I'll talk to him later. If there's a way to get battle tortoises, 
Oh, that is my dream come true. <laughs> but yeah, I still have plenty more of these things to find, I assume, so let me keep looking. It'll probably be a few minutes, because that took me a while to find that one, so give me just a brief moment. Ah, okay, so I finally found the one. Got him? Is, is this going to be it? I've killed five so far. I hope there's not more than this guy. Usually there's not more than five. You've killed all the creatures now! You better go tell the king! Sweet! Alright, so I was correct. There's not more than that many. Usually there's not more than five, but there are six in this case. Oh well. Regardless, it took me a while to find them, but it was easy enough. It's not like we had to fight our way through some dungeon to get to them. So let's go talk to the king real quick and tell him that we dispatched on all these easy, all these easy evil creatures. That was a tongue twister. <laughs> all right, so right up here, we have enough run to get to him. I won't have enough run to go talk to Brimstale or whatever, where I assume we have to finish this quest. I bet you anything, we're not going to finish it by talking to the king. We usually t finish it by talking to the final person. Have you found all of those spies yet? I think so. There were six in total. Thank goodness. Thank you for your help. Brimstale tells me that you've helped him a lot finding out what's going on. Help? I did all of the hard work. Ha <laughs> ha! Getting others to do the donkey work seems to be a skill that may just develop well. <laughs> so what will you do now? Well, I have many things to think about. Why are you... Wait, why are the Eros Fondin spying, us in, uh, spying on us, and what are they planning? Who knows, I don't care. It's certainly worrying, and what if, whoever sabotaged the machine couldn't have been far from here. And are, those, are the gnomes who are here also spies? Man, I'm having a stroke at the end of this. I can't talk at all. <laughs> Indeed, that is another thing that worries me. If you find out more, I'd be willing to help investigate. There'll be more quests here, I have no doubt. That may be useful. Thank you. I will... Well, call again for your help. Oh, before you leave, I have something you might like. What's that? It was passed down to me from king to king. It belonged to Oaknock. He proclaimed to be a hero of the gnomes to have it. I think it counts to you, only you've been looking into Oaknock, so it might work for what it is. He gives you a small crystal seed. Oh, that's cool. I think I can use that. Well, I'm sure your magical research will help you there. Ha ha! We actually don't have to go back to Brimsdale, but I think we do for that seed. If I'm not mistaken, you can use that seed to uh, do something with your saw, and it makes it better for construction. So that's pretty damn cool. But look at that. Two quest points, 12,000 magic EXP, 2,500 woodcutting, which isn't much for my woodcutting, 6,000 ruin crafting. That is useful. That is why we did this. 250 uh, construction, not very useful, but it's cool anyways. And the crystal seed. 106 quest points, that's pretty damn awesome. How about that? Magic level 63. What next? Ruin crafting level 43. How freaking cool. Alrighty, so I think I will leave it off here. I'll figure out what the hell this crystal seed does here pretty soon and probably make something off of it. Other than that, it's pretty damn cool. We got the quest done. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.